In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the package checker plugin that's bundled with IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. Wouldn't you like to see that your dependencies have vulnerabilities right inside your IDE? The package checker plugin bundled with IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate does just that. Let's take a look. To show you how this works, let's use this old and outdated project. It's a Maven project, so all of its dependencies are declared in the POMXML. When we open the POMXML file, we see that several dependencies are highlighted. The Dependency Checker plugin highlights vulnerable dependencies, and when we hover over the highlighted dependency, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate shows all the vulnerabilities that were identified in this package. When we click on the vulnerability, we are redirected to the Checkmarks Advisory to learn more about this particular vulnerability. Another way to see all the vulnerable packages is by right-clicking on the POMXML file and selecting Analyze – Show Vulnerable Dependencies. This will open the Vulnerable Checker tool window. This also works in a Gradle project. Let me quickly switch to a different project, the Spring Pet Clinic, which uses Gradle. We can right-click the Build Gradle file and go to Analyze – Show Vulnerable Dependencies. Let's go back to the outdated project for this demo. We can also open the Vulnerable Checker tool window without having to open the files where our dependencies are declared. To open the Vulnerable Checker tool window straight from the main menu, go to Code, Analyze Code, Show Vulnerable Dependencies. The Vulnerable Checker tool window shows all the vulnerable dependencies for the project. For each vulnerability, we can see an indication of the severity. There are two different views. The flat view shows all of the vulnerable dependencies in this project, and the dependency hierarchy view shows the dependency tree and the hierarchy between the dependencies. When we click a specific dependency, we can see more information about the vulnerabilities in that dependency. We can click the link to read more, which will take us to the information about this vulnerability in the Checkmarks Advisory. To see all the dependencies of the project, regardless of whether they're vulnerable or not, we can click the Show Save button on the top left. The dependencies without known vulnerabilities are shown with a green check mark next to it. We still have the same two views, the flat view and the dependency hierarchy view. We can use these buttons here to collapse or expand the views. We can use the Show Save button to toggle between showing all dependencies or only the ones with known vulnerabilities. Finally, we can remediate these vulnerabilities. We can copy the safe version from the Vulnerable Checker tool window and paste it into our build file, or we can fix it directly in our build file. When we hover over a specific vulnerable dependency, the hover menu includes an action that we can click to upgrade the version. Alternatively, we can use the intention action shortcut. Once we update the versions, we can load Maven changes. We see that the overview in the Vulnerable Checker tool window is updated, and we see that these vulnerabilities are removed. Thanks for watching.